What does that entail? Did I do it just in time? Am I gonna look? Okay, there's like the loading icon. I couldn't see it at first, and you guys can't see because it it's blocked by my camera, but I got worried the game froze for a second. Link. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm? Yeah, this might not be the time. No! Ruined! I'm not fast enough. Alright everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. I just got back from work. We had a field trip today, so those kids were... <laughs> really something so i wanted nothing more than to be able to come home sit down and play some games for you guys so and that's exactly what we're gonna do where we last left off in this little area of the map here we were defending karakara bazaar from the weird little things that are trying to kill us now i forgot what their names are they have their body parts somewhere Let's see what is oh right here gibdo the gibdos uh and then we got the order that the leader of the area would like us to head back to the village. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and I kind of want to just find as many of those tornadoes as possible because I don't know where we're going. I just know we're going straight. Let's see. And it's not too, too hot right now, so we're not suffering. What is that noise? Oh, and before I forget, because I feel like I already have as we're just jumping apparently straight into the game... If you guys are enjoying the videos as well as the series as a whole, please do not forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe. Here we go. And now with that out of the way, I know I'm not forgetting anything. Like I said, very long day today. It was fun though, it was fun. I had a decently good time with the kiddos. But I'm glad to be home and glad to be back at this game. Ooh, some spring? What is this? Hold up. Um. How do I better use this? What is also up there? Just oh fans. Oh, hold up. So first off, if I if I were to jump on this, right? No, that actually okay. It's not a spring, so I was already wrong. Up this way, up this way. Once again, another one of these boards. Oh, there's a fan, but there's not like a stand on it. Oh, but it doesn't matter because we have... What do you call it? The, uh, this things... What is this? A couple of these little things. Oh, is it nothing? Huh. I guess it's nothing. Well, regardless... We're gonna fly directly into this sandstorm thing, so I can see exactly where we're going. Helen can blow me a little bit closer, so I'm not like the furthest thing away. Okay, and now we are entering the unbearable heat, which is not something that I wanted to do. But I think we should be able to enter <laughs> some shade before that got too dicey. All right, it looks like as long as we're inside the city limits, the heat does not get to be too bad. That is exactly what we wanted to hear, though. So, oh, looks like she's right there. Easy enough, easy enough. So now I'm curious as to see what the boss is for this. Are they going to be like the Gibdos? Are they going to be even bigger? Because you got to remember, we just fought a big dragon. Like a gigantic sky dragon. So, look, Link. What am I looking at? There's a Gibdo hive. Just like the one at the, that appeared near the Karakara Bazaar. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up in the same time, too. Darn. But this is not the only... But it's not only the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. Hmm. So when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Uh. Huh? Come. Come. 
It's a pretty good voice. Get to hear a little bit more of it though. Darn it. There we go. I just need a thumbnail. There, boom. We're done. <laughs> Again. You heard it, didn't you? Come. Is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Lady Riju? Wink? Is something the matter? I thought... Is nothing. Hmm. Link, for now, we should focus on protecting... Oh, God, I forgot. Is it Gerudo? I think it Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. All I know is I was wrong, and I think I was giving it the soft J instead of the hard G. So that was definitely it. So Riju of Gerudo Town. All right. Hmm. The Sand Shroud. The sudden appearance of the Gibdos and their hives. Strange events keep happening one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. Hmm. There's something bigger going on, but for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Bellaria and the soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Alright. Well, easiest way for me to do that is first off, just pulling that thing right off. And now I'm heading down. There we go. Boom. Where's she at? Laria, Laria. Not you. Where was she before? Oh boy. What is this? Why am I underwater? Also, give me that. Let's see. Examine. It's you! At long last! You, the Vo reading this letter, are the Vo I was fated to meet. And I am the Vi you were destined for. You must hurry and rescue me. I'm locked away from the outside world. Do not worry, though. I will send all of my love to you until you come find me. Stay safe and know that when we, we, eh, that we will meet soon. It is our destiny, after all. Haliban. Oh. Thought he was going to be able to do something else. Uh, yeah. I'm not staying down here. Alright, where's this... <laughs> not an enemy. Loka. Oh, wait a minute. Was it the woman literally just like right above us? So I'm going to feel like an idiot if she was just standing next to her the whole time. Link, you're climbing an awful long way, bud. Oh, but it was exactly where we needed to be. She was right there the whole time. Damn it. Alright, so what's the plan? Talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. Okay. Oh. Pada is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for the battle? No, I think we're pretty good. Very well. In that case, please report to Lady Riju. When the battle begins, I will be focused on protecting her. For the sake of the Gerudo, nothing can happen to her. Alright, so... Let's start off down here. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long before we'll need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We could spread them out lightly, to lightly cover the gates, or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position. We need to decide who to send where, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh, so the spear troops. Uh, the north gate. I guess. I don't know if there is a specific way to do this. Understood. They will defend the north gate. Um, the sword troops. can. De the, they do the east gate. Boom. There we go. Understood. They will defend the east gate. And then we'll put the cannoneers on the west. The cannoneer. The west gate. Should be good. Understood. They will defend the west gate. Alright. Uh, and now, we can just make our way to the other side of this zone. So that way we can talk to the materials lady. What was that noise? Nope. Pop up. Come on, Link. There you go. 
I didn't miss her, did I? Is she outside? No, I think she's... Oh, oh, I, I see what I'm doing wrong. So I was just there, and now I gotta go over here. So we'll just make our way this way. What is this? Just a torch? Not worth it. Slowly climb the wall until we're close enough that I can just give ourselves a big old leap. Sadly, I ran out of stamina, so it's going to take a little bit to recover. Gotta give it to Link, though. I definitely don't think I'd be... Oh, there's a shrine up at the top? Oh, I definitely need to complete that. Actually, you know what? I think before we talk to this lady down here, we should do this because we don't actually have a fast travel point. Which would have made the journey here, albeit just a few seconds quicker. It would have been quicker nonetheless. So if there is any way I can make my way up this, we're doing it. We should be fine. Do I have stamina foods? I do. I have one. It won't give much, but it would give enough to make it up here if we need to. I feel like this ledge here might grant us enough stability to be able to stand. Okay, and the unbearable heat, though, might be the thing that gets us. Oh, and it appears that this is not the area that I thought it was going to be. Hang on, let's just give it a good... Oh, and I didn't even have to use the food. Excellent. All right, keep her going, Link. Keep her going. We gotta almost be to the top, right? Almost. I'm just a little bit more literally just right there okay it's unbearable heat but it's not the worst like it's not killing us once i see a heart or something disappear then i'll pop some food okay actually you know what though i'm not going to do that because we're going to be able to just not have it lose another heart by opening this hopping inside and then immediately leaving once we're done and we'll just get the heart back at the end of this grind and we'll have a fast travel point. And I'm also trying to keep a lot of these in because I feel like, you know, it's it's kind of fun to show you guys these shrines. And who, what, who knows? Maybe when you see me embarrass myself and not know what to do half the time, you guys will maybe learn something yourselves. But I was like, hello? So can I just point this at the sand and stuff? Oh, I can. So... Is there a point of me doing this? It doesn't have a battery, so I don't have to... Ah, there's the chest. I had a feeling one of these sand piles had a chest. So we're just going to kick this one open. A small key. I wonder what that's for. Could it be perhaps to this door? Boom. Alright, so what's the next puzzle going to entail? Let's see if we can sneak up on this dude for as much as possible. Hopefully he doesn't turn his head too much. Hang on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He died fast. There's not more he is, is there? Do I have to bring that fan with me? Hey, hey, hey. Check yourself, buddy. Yeah, I'll take that arrow. Oh, yeah, there is another one in there. But I think I gotta grab my old fan. It's still going, too. Don't worry about that. Alright, so we'll take this in with us. We'll start blowing these sand piles away. Bring that up a little closer so I can just get the job done without me getting shot with arrows. Let's see. I know there's another one. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I don't even know if there's anything here. There is, but to what exactly? Okay. Yank that out of there. Give it a smack. Pick it up. What do we have here? 
Okay. You can not do that. So we have a fan guster. Okay, this over here better not be an enemy. I'll be very upset. Let's see. Actually, yeah, what happens if I do that, right? Hear me out. Aha! It would work. How, though, do I get enough? Oh, just like that. Aha. The problem, though, then lies in getting this up here. Let's see. So I think I need the fan guster. So let's look at our weapons. I don't want to get rid of anything, but I guess I could drop the blade. This does 20, that does 19. Um, yeah, we'll drop that. You know, actually, we can just come back for it, too. That's the thing. We don't have to keep the fan guster forever. Boom. Okay. Come on. Now that gets going. And then we have two chests. I thought most of these areas only had one. Please don't be, like, dumb, though. Ten arrows. You know, even though they're not the the greatest thing in the world, they are to me. Run out of arrows like crazy. All right, drop that. Pick that back up. Oh, I didn't even need the duck the last time I came in here. All right, so now the question is, does this just, like, go here? Because I don't actually know what this is where are you supposed to be placed uh here no and what happens if i give you a smack nothing oh hold up i didn't notice there was an ascension place right here so we'll pop through. Um, what do I want? Put a... I don't know, these guys seem weak. We'll put a soldier construct horn. And we'll just send that flying. Alright, uh, that really did the most. Take all of that. Give this a smack. Oh, not ascension. Grab this. Use this to clear the sand away. Ooh, okay. Hold up. I think we're reflecting some light is what our plan is. So, how do we want to do that is the question. And first, I gotta move this bow out of here before it keeps thinking it's gonna get stuck to that. Okay, so it goes to wherever I'm pointing. Uh, I just gotta make sure it's standing up the correct way. So... Actually, I didn't realize there was another sand pile over here. Let's clear this. What's under here? Oh, nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be putting this stuff. Where does the light have to hit? Does it have to hit those? Like those light balls? Because if so, I think I'm a little too high. Take those down. Why are you angled that way? Um, hang on. Okay, now you're angled too far down. And now you're angled too far up. What is going on? What am I even aiming for? Because actually, these are the things I'm supposed to be aiming for. 
So maybe putting it okay. Why are why are you doing things the way you are? Is that fine? Let's I don't know. You know what? Let's can we give that a shot. Is that going to be fine? I guess you don't have too much of a choice. Gonna have to figure this puzzle out one way or another, and I feel like it's going to be trial and error. Okay, I was like, that flung itself. Uh. Do we do it? Now, if I drop this, it's gonna stay that way, right? All right, there we go. First part of this episode, Dunzo. Tap this. Boom. Now we have a fast travel point. Because that's definitely something that we're going to need here in this town. Skip that. One more time. After the Light of Blessing. That is still haven't spent. Come on. And skip again. And we get our half heart back. Now we can go talk to the Materials Lady. And we can start this absolute shitstorm that I'm assuming is going to happen set everything up, and actually get to the battle, because I want this episode to have a little bit of something to it. Ooh, if anything, it got a lot colder up here. Alright, so... Where did we want to talk to her? So, what side would she be on? I think right down here. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! That was horrifying. Now, can I just take all of... I can just take all of this. This is amazing. Shock fruit. When cooked correctly, the shockingly tasty fruit stimulates the consumer's muscles and grants increased attack power during thunderstorms. Excellent. More bomb flowers. I haven't seen those in forever. What are these? Mirror. That's going to be something good. A steak. We've seen those. Flame emitter. Take all the hydro melons and mighty bananas we can get. What is this stuff? Oh, first off, 30 arrows. Amazing. Bow, spear, what is this? Claymore, starts off at 10. Scimitar, attaching material, greatly increases material's power, does not reach their ability. And the shield. Ooh, what does my shield look like? 24, 24, 26. Here, let's drop that for one of these. And we'll stick a Zora shield back on, because when it breaks, it breaks, but... Huh. Alright, I think we should be good with stealing everything for now. Talk to her. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that you can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? Let's talk barricades. There are three gates from this uh, from this palace. The north gate is ahead, the west gate left, and the east gate is right. I've got an idea for a barricade. I use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set up at? Uh, the north, ah, the west gate. That's where our cannoneer is. They're going to need all the defenses they can get. Okay. Oh. Barricade has been set up at the west gate. That should slow down any enemies that attack that position. Now, can I do it at more? Let's talk barricades. But uh, you can move it if you want it somewhere else. Oh, you can only have it at one. All right. No, I'm okay for now. Need something? Please come see me. All right. So let's go back up and talk to the princess because I think that's all we can do. I just want to make sure our cannoneer is good. So... Are the preparations complete? They are. So... What does that entail? Did I do it just in time? Am I gonna look... Okay, there's like the loading icon. I couldn't see it at first and you guys can't see it because it's blocked by my camera, but... I got worried the game froze for a second. Link. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm? Yeah, this might not be the time. No! Ruined! I'm not fast enough. Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this. We have our cannoneer over this side. And that's also where the gate is, so they have enough time. 
Okay, the north gate. Okay. East gate. That sword's pretty cool. Valeria. They have the town surrounded. Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. Damn. Then she joins the fight. Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Everyone, protect our chief, protect our own, or our town. Monsters have appeared outside town. Shore up the defenses at the gate. Yeah. Enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. Stop them. East gate. Yeah, well, they've arrived from this one too. All right, I thought I jumped out of the way, but I forgot Link is not a mobile creature in any way. He is very not the agile boy. Um, that should be fine. So when they're releasing, oh, I know why she said that. It's because she said the North Gate. Okay. Boom. That one's gone. Now they can hold that off. So what other gate was it? It was the east gate, which I believe was this one over to this side. I hope. Nor ever. Yes. No! I would like to, but you don't give me enough time. I gotta like haul. Link has weak baby legs. It's actually kind of insane. I hate this woman so much. Okay, my bow broke. I'm not even going to fight with this game right now on how to actually select my bow, so boom. There we go. Okay, now we have more of an aerial view. So she said east, but I already know she's full of it, and I'm not going to be able to actually land any of these from this side. There we go. Uh, probably. We only had one. Alright, hang on. I'm waiting for her thing to show up again. Come on, reach out, reach out. Boom, got them. The cannon here can take care of those, most likely. Why are these ones flying? Yeah. The heck are these? Gibdo wing. A wing that catches the light. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Yeah, I think I'm all set. There's another flying one right. Nope, not gonna waste the time. We are just gonna fly. Wow, there's a lot of these little bony boy. Oh! Gibdo Guts. The dried guts of a defeated Gibdo. It's said that they're effective, vitality-rich ingredients that are used in elixirs. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Not trying to talk. Just trying to loot. And bang. Oh! What do you mean she's under attack? Hang on. I just gotta wait until that stretches far enough. Okay. Grab all of that stuff. Is there one right? Oh, is he is he a flying boy? Yep, he is. Woohoo! That direct shot definitely helped out. Hang on, there was like one more in here. At least I thought there was. Oh, yep, there is. Right. That has to be it, right? Nope. That still is okay. No, that is it. He just hadn't despawned yet. There we go. That's a better thumbnail. Boom. Quick with it. Loved it. That's some strong Amazonian esque stuff. You had to get that in a photo, and that one's got to be the thumbnail. There we go. Link, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Hmm. 
I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud? Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. And then there's that voice you and I both heard. A voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Alright, I guess we're going. Oh. Alright. So I guess she wants us to go to the underground shel shelter. There we go, I can speak. And I'm going to open it up. And then, we're going to end today's video for now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like down below. Comment what your favorite part was. Hit that subscribe button. And just as well... Hit the bell notification and share the video with a friend so that way you get alerted when all new content gets posted to the channel and your friend gets a nice little gift of the video that you just enjoyed. So thank you and as always I hope you're having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night post watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Oh.